Hello everybody, and um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a growl bass, so here's the example. Okay, so that's what we're going to be creating, so let's get started. So first, you want to go onto Google and type in FM4, because that's the uh, plugin I'll be using. And um, I won't be doing a tutorial on how to like download it and stuff and add it in but uh, I'll just show you real quick where you would go once you download it and stuff uh, you would go to file folder right here in options preferences and then right here where it says plugins you would browse for your folder wherever your plugins are um, if you already have a folder just add FM4 in there but if you don't make a folder or do whatever and just tell Ableton where FM4 is at and then click on so you have your things on and we're good to go alright so you want to go to plugins Mine just happens to be right here, okay, so I'm going to put FM4 on here, and let's get started. So, first thing I want to do is I want to make all of these, tri well, they're already, already they're already triangle waves, so we're good there. Next thing I want to do is turn the levels up on all of them. There we go. Okay, so then next thing we're going to do is go to the algorithm right here and change it to 1. Uh, you can use different ones but uh, we're just going to use this one for now and you can experiment later I'm going to turn, go. The, it's on envelope when you first start so I'm going to turn that all the way down the LFO, I'm going to turn that completely off and the attack, whatever effects, I'm going to make sure all of these are off and reset the equalizer uh, filter, just leave it like that, that's good and I think we're good here and I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit just so I don't kill your ears and uh, this is what it sounds like right now so not too exciting yet, right? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. What we wanna do is bring this one to all the way to three. So we're gonna go whoop all the way to three. So not negative three, make sure it's at three. There we go. There we go, that's how it should sound. Then operator two, leave it at zero. Operator three, bring this one to negative three. So you get a growly sound already. Okay. And then the last operator, I think, okay, that's what it's at. The last operator can be negative one or negative two, it's whatever you like. But I'm gonna leave it on negative two, it gives it a little more bass. Okay, now we're gonna increase the resonance about there and the boost up a bit. Right there. So this is what it sounds like. Okay. Um, then I'm going to hit mono right here, boom, mono, and turn the portamento down. Okay, there we go, that just ensures that uh, when we hit multiple notes that it doesn't like clash with each other because it will be, yeah, just, just do that, okay. Um, now the next step is go over here to where your FM4 is, right click, click group, and there we go, you made a new group. And what we're going to want to do is open this up and click configure. Okay, there we go. I clicked configure. And you're going to want to move operators to course knob right here. So just move it like this. And there we go. Now next thing you want to do is right click on this and click map to macro one. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it to filter. Or, whoops. Yeah, I can't type. <laughs> okay. So then after you do that, you're going to want to uh, right click again and show edit MIDI map or wrong one. Sorry, edit macro map. So actually you go over here and click, uh, no, right here. Yeah. Edit macro map. There we go. Okay. So you want to set a minimum. This is the minimum that it, the lowest it can go. And this is the highest. So. We'll probably go 0.34 for the minimum, and for the highest, we'll leave it at 1. So it'll sound like this. Actually, we'll bring this down to 0.82. So we'll have 0.34 and 0.83. See how this sounds. Okay, so when I, that we're done with that, we'll click this map button and it'll bring us out. And that's basically it. Now you have yourself a really cool growl. And obviously you can tweak it, 
do stuff to it. Um, just do whatever you want to it. I mean, well, I'll show you like some examples. Maybe add a phaser, because that does some pretty cool stuff. Like if you bring this here, um, and you take the frequency, map it to macro one, and we met, we do something like this. Well, you can uh, you can see you can do whatever you want really. Just make that growl a little more growly. Okay, well that's the end of this tutorial, and uh, I can do more tutorials on dubstep bases, whatever kind of bases, because I have been working a long time on it now, and I have all of these like different things that I've made and stuff, different kinds of of instruments and synths. I just haven't done tutorials because I'm not that good at it at tutorials and I'm not that good at synths, but I think that I've been uh I've getting been getting better. So uh if you guys want to see more tutorials just let me know. Uh thanks for watching and bye bye.